Good afternoon. Oh, hey Sharon, dog lover. Yeah, you got your <laughs> the arrow to the picture of her dog in her photo. <laughs> hey Donna, hey Sherry. Thanks for the everyone adapting to the afternoon time. I saw Kathy was uh cast was still on, but I decided to go. Man has got allergies and so does Smokey. Mm -hmm. They have allergies really bad. And they're more like all year, but like when the um, spring and fall, they sometimes get worse and bandit just gets really bad in the fall. And he's literally like raw on like his two front legs, like right here. And like at the bin, I guess before his body, like they're just raw and his paws are like kind of half raw. And then his neck is like got a big line. And he is just itching and itching and scratching and licking. He's not just licking. He's scratching nonstop and licking. He's been, like, not playing. He's been hiding, like, you know, just, like, laying, going off and sleeping somewhere. When he does come out, he's constantly, like, you hear his foot going, did, 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 on the floor. And I was like, I was like, this is not getting better. And I give them allergy medicine all the time, all year round. Spray and rub it in. So what What if they lick it? Because he can lick by his legs. Can't lick under his neck, obviously. But he can lick like the part at the top of his legs. And she said I caught it in time. And because what happens later is he gets to where he sneezes more. He coughs. You know, can get a cough. He can do the, um, just get like his get really infected he gets yeasty smelling when he gets a skin infection and it gets sometimes in his ears and then it's like then i'm doing like all the steroids and the steroids are terrible they make him get fat and go to the bathroom and you know i mean i hate those things so she said i got him in just in time as this was starting because it started last week and i couldn't take him to the vets last week because of the stupid COVID. so Every June, so yours are the summer allergy dog, Sharon. Mine are the fall, sometimes spring, and definitely Bandit gets it in the fall. Smokey gets them in the spring. I dodged a bullet this year with Smokey. But, you know, you just feel bad when they're itching nonstop. So is it like yeah. regular spray Benadryl, like over the counter? I don't know. I've never heard of Benadryl spray. Oh, she puts it in a spray bottle. Hey, Johnny. Um, she said she's spray and rub in. It's okay to lick it, she said. Not hey, talk. Michelle. Yeah, Andrew. one lick and they'll probably never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Not toxic at all. Yeah, so they gave him an antibiotic shot, which is cool because I don't have to, like, give him a pill every day. So it lasts for two weeks in his system, and I don't have to give him a pill every day. And then the same with the allergy shot. See, at one point, I started just the allergy shots of Bandit and smoking. They never worked. And so I just give them, I give them Apoquil. But uh, the allergy, but the good thing is you can do the allergy shot and Apoquil together. But that's, I only do it when they need it. So that way, like, they don't build up a resistance to it. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. There's a link. Okay. I'm going to start that. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny. Anti-itch cooling. It's just for itching. And it's for humans mm -hmm. or is it something special for pets? Oh, the pool causes it with yours. Okay. I think ours is actually like every day the grass is really, really, really wet. So I think it's, I think it's, the, it's grass allergies or the fact that the grass is really wet, like with a lot of dew now every morning. So I can let them out when I'm not dressed in the morning, but like later I've been taking them out front. That way they're like on the concrete and then just going over and going to the bathroom and walk it up on the concrete, trying to keep them off the grass. 
my cat's allergic to seafood. What a stupid cat. <laughs> oh, Eileen. Is it like shellfish or fish fish? Well, if you, you, you buy the stuff in a cat food in a can that has seafood. So what's it eat, chicken and beef or just chicken? chicken and beef, that's about it. He doesn't oh. even eat cat treats. He doesn't like them either. Geez, usually they're crazy over cat treats. So he eats, just eats wet food out of the can. No, and dry. And some dry. I don't blame him, Johnny. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I was glad I took him because he's like feeling better already. Just getting an allergy shot. I'm sure the antibiotics, I don't think they've kicked in this quick, but the shot messed up because he's running around playing with Vanda or Smokey. And he's been like laying around sleeping and just itching, looking, sleeping. And uh, that's not like him. He's a very active dog. And it's like today was the only appointment and I was still there for like 50 minutes because you, you know, they were very, very busy. Oh yeah. Takes time to get them in. And yeah. And she's the only one there and she was book solid. I think they just worked him in because it's allergies. It's not a, I mean, you know, it's a standard medical visit. You know what I mean? Right. Made for humans. Okay. For dogs used on our lab that passed. She was allergic to Florida. <laughs> Allergic to Florida. <laughs> That's it, Eileen. Your cats are allergic to Florida. Then they have a problem. Switch yours to raw meat. What? Raw meat. Raw chicken? Or raw beef? Just all raw meat? That's scary. Because I know if a person eats it, I've never heard of that, Peggy. Johnny says Kathy was out shopping for you today. <laughs> oh, so you gave him shots every day till, till you started on the raw meat. Wow. That's interesting. Never heard of that. The, uh, yeah, she texted me and said that she said, you said, said all the farm ones. So that was really sweet. I, I appreciate that. This pet store smells, smells, sells raw meat special for, they do? Boy, I had no idea. I guess, Wow. <laughs> now listen to Peggy she is drinking <laughs> now here I thought Peggy went to the butcher and got prime rib and all that for the dog <laughs> so that's what came into my mind too as well well now that you say it in, in public shopping center they have a big cooler in the pet section and that must be like raw meat in, in these tubes that they sell so I got that one, and this one I didn't have. Look at this dude. Johnny, Johnny says she's going to feed Ubby to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Your pups are on raw pet food, too, but didn't help them in June. Wow. <laughs> Ubby to the dog. Raw meat, raw broccoli, and cod. You're kidding me. He's veggies, too? Wow. You are a little salty today. I like it. You definitely are. Just so do Kathy's, on her, Kathy's on her way here, right? She's on her way. Oh, yes, I did mention to them like they were listening. Yeah, Kathy's on her way. She's picking uh, her dog up from the place she gets it groomed, and I don't know they groom them and play together or something. 
like a like daycare? a daycare. I don't know. Anyway, she's on her way back, and she said that mm -hmm. she had her basement flood. So they, she's hoping that her husband is that all cleaned up from her water softener. Hi, Sophia. I like that one. That's cute. Now all those photos are kind of muted, right? In that in that magazine, they are. They're, okay. They're very dull. Like it's a it's a it's a not like a shiny magazine page. That's Kito with her sweater and uh, yeah, boots yeah. and boots. That's cute. What else we think of with Autumn? I like that sweater too. I did too. It looked warm and cozy. Yeah, we'll just do a quick flip here. Then we'll get started on our flashcard. And then we're going to do an art journaling page, which would be fun. Oh, this would be fun over our hippie page. You would not see me doing this. I'm scared of heights. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> you would not see me doing that. Oh, I like this. This is a mint green camper. Oh, that's a cute image. I just picked this up today. So, I, oh, this one's really pretty. Oh. Got the magnolias. Look at our lipstick matches the flowers. Wow. There's a lot of thought that went into that. Little barn scene. I'm always all about that. Wild birds to the rescue. Oh, they rescue wild birds. Oh. Anyone that rescues or helps an animal is number one in my book. Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, anybody that rescues alligators, I I got a few things to say to them. <laughs> Back to cleaning. Hey, Sophia. Uh, I've seen women turn old campers into craft rooms parked in a yard. They look fabulous. Oh, I need one of those here. <laughs> My neighbors will flip their lids. They would flip out. The, we you got to have not a home association be able to do that stuff. That's neat, though. Then it'd be like having your glam, glamper, camper, yeah. art room, but you use it in your yard all the time. Maybe you better live in a warm place, too, because you wouldn't yeah. want to do that here in the winter time. And maybe that would be better in the uh, in Florida, Georgia. All those places down south. We're south, but we get cold. <laughs> okay, so let's go with the five cards. I'm eating a milk dud, craving chocolate, really bad. Hey, Barbara. Oh, they put electricity in their campers. Well, now you're talking. Well, I figured it had, like, lights and stuff. I didn't know about a heater. I was thinking you would have to have some sort of propane or heater for it. 57. Woo, woo. All right. Let's pull these out. This was Tuesday's prompts. If you if you weren't here, we did pencil, typewriter, and raw umber, which were fun prompts. Okay, I know. I thought I put sand in something. Did we do yeah. sand? Yes. Yes, you did sand. All right. I thought that seemed familiar. I think we did that. Did we do coffee? Yes. Because I think I did coffee rings. Yeah, we did coffee. Seafoam green. Let's see. I don't. I oh, that'd it be nice. No. Nope. You haven't done seafoam green. All right, so colors in the front. So I'll skip ahead now the colors. Clothing. I think you did that. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh. Flashcard. Done. <laughs> you've, you've done cloth and you've done clothing. So 
Choose a flashcard from your deck. Use it as your inspiration. Completely cover and decorate a flashcard with hints of what it is, what it was covered uh, before you covered it. Should we use this or should we go on since we we're working on flashcards? Well, move on, Colleen. All right, darn it. We use ribbon. I think so. That yeah. one was easy. Yeah. Yes. You have, yes. T. No, you have not used T. T and seafoam green. T stain your pages. Use T like watercolor. Draw a teapot or teacups. Use empty tea bags, which I have some of those. That's a collage element. Use tea from inside your tea bags as texture and glue it down. <laughs> oh, I've glued bird seed down. I guess I could glue tea down. <laughs> yeah, it was like a free spot in bingo. Free exactly. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Let's see what's next. Stamps. No. You have not used stamps. Oh, good. Someone's yeah. probably got tea, tea cups or sort of stamps. Yeah. All okay. right. Rubber stamps. Postage stamps. I have postage yeah. stamps. Postage stamps. Oh, that's good. Vintage stamps that went through the mail, like uh, she just mentioned. Rubber stamps you use with ink. You could also make and cut your own stamps. That would take a while. We're not going to do that. Okay. Seafoam green tea and stamps. I have teacup stencils. I have tea bags. I don't know if I have tea stamps. You, use, a, to, use a you tea bag and put a stamp on it and pretend you're mailing it to somebody. Hmm. Okay, I'm grabbing tea bag door. Where are the tea bag? Little thing I don't know. Ah! Ugh. I got I walked in front of the fan and it blew all my tea bags out of the thing. <laughs> I walked by it and then it's like all oh, my things blew away. Also have. See, this is what happened with mine. I don't know about everybody else's. Most of mine got like, it's a tangle mangle mess. So, whose kitty was that? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, this one has tea in it. I can technically glue it down. Uh, compassion is the fountain of forgiveness. All right, let me see about seafoam green. Oh, I've been using this one, sage green. Let's see. Okay, maybe something. Uh, seafoam, mine's probably lighter. There's mint. Don't you think seafoam would be a lighter color than either one of you? Yes, it yeah. is. It is some, lighter, lighter green. Okay. Yeah, some companies have seafoam green as a color. Oh, this might work. The folk art matte acrylic like that. That might be more. Um, yeah, that looks good. They're calling this one wild wasabi. <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> wild wasabi. Wasabi. I guess I'm saying that right. Okay, so there's my seafoam green. There's a tea bag, and I need a stamp. 
Yeah, it needs attention, right, Dar? Need some pet pets. Peggy without the cigarette smoke. <laughs> oh, you did? You had an 80 seafoam bathroom? Oh, that's wild. Was that in in the 80s? I had a moon and stars bathroom. That's silly. Or did you just like seafoam green? So what have you been up to, Eileen? Not much. I've been sitting down and watching that trial. Oh, my God. Yes. That judge was really pissed off today. Yeah, she was. And I don't blame her. The defense, it looks like that, that whole team looks like a bunch of little kids. Yeah. The, uh, oh, it's the Parkland uh, school shooting where the the kid, well, he's not a kid now, but he uh, said he was guilty, and it's the penalty part, whether he gets death or life imprisonment. Yes, I it is. Knew, uh, uh, something like that, uh, the penalty part of a trial could last so long. Yeah, they're going to call the defense still got what, like 65 more witnesses to call? Something like that. And I don't know what the difference is of whether the judge can do the uh, what he he ends up with or whether it has to go into a penalty phase i don't know the, i think the jury is going to decide well the jury in this case but i don't know if all cases are like that i don't i don't think all of them are like it because i've seen some where the judge does make the Found it. make the decision and they take more breaks. Yep. I was watching another murder trial and it took three days. Wow. That's a nice stencil. Is anybody going to do any of the Tim Holtz Halloween stuff? I was amazed that a lot of online stores like uh, Simon Says and uh, Joggles and all, all mostly, I would say 80% of their stuff, you have to pre-order it. And if you go to Joanne's online, you get it right away. Really? Amazing. And it's cheaper. It's a, at least a dollar or two dollars cheaper for any item. And you can use a coupon, I guess, too, right? Well, it, it has to be an online shipping coupon. It's not one that you can use in the store. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are, I noticed that are pre-order first. Yeah, but Joanne's, 
you get them right away. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I think he said that they have a, they have a, a contract with Joanne's. He said his stamps are like all the, um, what do you say, polymer. They're not rubber stamps, and they're a little different, a little smaller. But like the dyes and stuff they get first is all the normal. Oh, yeah, because I got... I got so much from Joanne's, it's amazing. And I would say it's at least 75% cheaper than to buy it from like Joggles or Simon Says. So now I'm curious what else Dar put in her seafoam bathroom. Oh, Michelle there. still has a few items in her shop. Now Michelle is cheaper too. If you buy something from Michelle, it's cheaper than you can get it from Simon Says. Kathy said she's going to be on mute for a while. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Kathy, the prompts for the flashcard are seafoam green tea stamps. Someone, did someone type that in? I can just run it across there. Yes, Dar did back. Oh, there it is. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Here, I could use this stamp and this and this. This probably looks more like coffee. This is probably represent coffee, but then there's a little teacup with some little birds. Let's see. Or I could do the painting method. Grab some hearts too. I don't know why I just felt like I should. <laughs> All right. So I got to stamp. So if I don't stamp this, I might just stamp uh, maybe some hearts. I wonder if I could, oh, why are these little birds would fit on the coffee mug like that? This would be too tiny. I'm going to think about that. Okay. What's going to fit? Oh, as a tea bag. I forgot about this. Oh, it's a little smoke and everything on it. I forgot about this. This one's old. This is old. Or if I do this, oh, this, 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 okay, gotcha. All right, so this is the base. I would go there. So I can make the base seafoam green. Well, we're calling this seafoam green. It's really not. We're pretending. Hey, Kathy is uh, there. She just she just made me big, so I cleaning up the water in her basement. It's a shame that uh, Peggy and Kat can't, still can't see each other. I don't get that. So, did you all? Do you both use uh, Google? Have you looked on Google to see if you're blocked there? And on your YouTube under community, they don't. Go, yeah, they did. They went in and they they don't have anybody blocked. To YouTube Studio, and then you go down to blocked users. Yep. Now, and okay, and you checked your Google too. Like you yep. could also they're listed there. Yep. And Cat completely logged out of Google and completely logged back in and still it's that's just um i don't understand this doesn't make any sense Oh, okay. Does anyone else have any ideas in chat the why they can't see each other? That they're not blocked, uh, blocked to each other on YouTube or Google. Hmm. 
Does anyone else have it? And, and, and a idea. So I don't have an, I don't, I've never. Has Kath going into another browser be, behind, besides Chrome? Oh, that's true. Do you have another browser and did it accidentally blocked on another browser? That's a valid point, Eileen. If she's going into something like Microsoft Edge and going into YouTube, if she'll see the Peggy's still blocked, or Peggy can do the same. Check both. Hmm. Peggy is here. Yeah, she said hi earlier. Right? I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, because yeah, she was yeah. wanted yeah, because yep. she said she read she gave her dog um uh, raw meat. All right, so let me lay this. Okay, if you're interested in this stencil, they you can find it. It's TCW434. It was just scooted over a little bit and I'll lose half part of my handle. I wasn't looking at that. Ugh. What did I do with the black? Black. There it is. So this is flashcard number 57. Oh, yeah. 57. Wow. And we would be higher if we weren't had missed some streams. Yeah, but but that's pretty good. They've st we've really? stuck with it. Yeah, I bet I bet you're the only people that have done this many out of that book. Oh yeah, who bought the book? Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. I hope she. I'll have to do when we get done. I'll have to do like a show the book and like do a kind of a quick or make a big photo of the pile of them I made with her book when we get done just so right. she can see it. Oh, that's a pretty teacup. Isn't that with the little flowers? Hi, Tina. Now you need the birds to be carrying the uh, tea bag over to the cup. Oh, that would be cute. That way I can incorporate the birds. I wouldn't have thought of that except it was on the stamp. Okay, let me, and now I have bird stencils too. Let's see if I have bird stamps. Hi, Tina. I can, I'm going to unmute for a little bit while the water softeners are not running. So it's what's up? That, it's good that you were home to catch that, Kathy. You know, it's funny because I was, um, sitting at my desk when was it yesterday i'm like oh i hear water running i better check to make sure i didn't leave my sprinkler on outside because it's right outside that wall and i hadn't i'm like oh it was probably just the pipes running down the you know the water running down the pipes and i just i walked over that way i'm like why is there water all over the floor so it's plugged back in but now it's the water softener is not the backwash is, it's not backwashing. So I don't know. But the water's up off the floor, which is good. But yeah, what a mess. But we've had, we've had to replace a sump pump. So we've had water in the basement from that. We also had um, our water tank rest out. So oh, I, I have nothing uh, that sits directly on the floor of the basement. <laughs> Everything's like on wheels or up on legs. It's all how, old, how old was your water heater when it rusted out? Um, it was about eight years old, but of course the builder, you know, they used the cheapest thing they can. Yeah. So, because I swear every time we have, you know, with the sump pump, you know, the water heater, the 
air conditioner you know every time somebody comes to replace it they're like oh yeah this is the cheapest one that's what the builder always does yeah yeah and we weren't even able to upgrade that i would like to have upgraded ours and yeah put it in on our our loan you know what i mean right i would have too i would have upgraded everything you could put it in there and pay for it ever next 30 years or whatever it was and um yeah no can't do that no but yeah then i get to pay for it you know, they didn't, for yeah sure. they didn't offer it i was like really why do you not offer it if people if people are willing to or want to why would you not well, and even like the garbage disposal, I said, if we ever buy another house, that's the first thing I'm going to have changed is garbage disposal. Right, yeah. Like a hundred bucks for a better one. Yeah. A quieter one. And yeah. Right. <laughs> all, that stuff, we, all that stuff broke. Oh, yeah. That's cute. cute. <laughs> that's cute, cute Molly. Molly. Where did you get that stamp? I don't know. It's in my drawer. Let's see. There's no name on it. Okay. Peggy posted hers on Facebook. Okay. Peggy's here. That's where she's been. Okay. It's smaller oh. than the Stampin' Up, so I don't think maybe. I wonder if it was one I got over at like uh, Michael's, like in the a cheap the cheap end or something. I'm gonna take this bird, cut this one, I'm gonna color it real quick, and put this on there. Let me get my markers. So these are pretty good props. Yeah, yeah. What, was, what was flashcard? <laughs> the problem was flashcard. <laughs> Like I like uh, uh, Peggy said, it was like a bingo free spot. I was like, do we need a flash card? Because we already got one done. Check. <laughs> Peggy's card is down there. Okay, I got it. Now Peggy can see Kat. Oh, good. But she, she could see her before, couldn't she? It's Kat that cannot see Peggy, right? Hi, Tina. Oh, now, oh Peggy, that's, that's cute. Oh, so that's the little mouse house stamps, right? And then the oh, little tea okay. bag. That is cute. Oh, that's I fun. Like, oh, I like the little registered. That's cute. Oh, and she did some little, like, is that faux stamping? I think it's faux stamping. You did faux oh, stamping. Yeah. You've been hanging out with Kathy. No, Peggy oh, said she didn't oh, see Kat when she first came in. <laughs> Oh, okay, and now it's you can fix. Woo! It's Lucy. Fixed. But do oh. we know how we fixed it? <laughs> Lucy, oh, that's that's what happened to Kathy. She had a bunch of appliances quit at once during COVID. I think if you bitch long enough, YouTube fixes it. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about that. Wait, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Doug's going to be coming down here, so I think I'm going to stay off to the side, Colleen, because I may have to mute again. Okay, we'll do the big little thing. Yeah. And then if it if if I got to run the water softener, I'll just mute. Okay. Darcy, you just pushed every damn button on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> they were messaging each other last night and she she logged completely out of google and it took her out of all of her apps so she had to log log into everything and oh no at that point at that point we kind of just gave up and said it's better just not to screw around with anything so oh did Mar say that worked. she got locked did she say she got locked out of all of her apps I've been logged. I've had to sign into all my social media apps every time I go to open something up today. Yeah, I think that's what happened to her. So Wait, she just does anybody else had that? I have not had that. I had to sign into Twitter, Instagram. I had to do it on my iPad. I had to do it on my laptop. 
and I had to do it on my desktop. I mean, it's it, like everything's I'm signed out of everything. And it could be when you come when you log out of Google, it it also updates stuff when you when you come back in. So it could have been something like that. Yeah, maybe there was an update, but I'm not on my phone, my iPad Safari. So I don't know. It's just it was it's annoying, you know, because every all your passwords are all different and you have to remember which one is which and uh, he's technically got a white belly, but we're going to make him blue so you know it's a blue jay since he's stamped in black. It's a blue jay. But he's in That's black. Instead of, instead of blue and white. You know your birds. You're like, That's not real. <laughs> That's not right. What did you say? That's not a real bird. I said, you, you know, the colors of the real bird. It's not just like a cutesy bird or something when it's like a. Oh, it's real. You know, when it's like, an, you know, I'm supposed uh -huh. to say like a blue jay. You're just like, well, his belly's definitely. Yeah. I'm looking at this one. That's not right color. It's all right. Colleen, make, make sure that they're the right colors. I mean, that's not the right color for a blue jay. All right, so we'll have this one. That way, at least if the blue jay police come, we won't catch up. Well, this is technically a dove, and he's painted green. And well, we know doves aren't green, but I'm just trying to stick with the with the. Oh, Sherry's thing. card is up. Let me. I was just going to get that. Hold on, Sherry. That's usually the only time you got to sign in to stuff is when you get a new phone. So, it's weird you guys are having that. You know, so I'll let you know if mine does that. But mine's also an older phone now. Okay, I'm going to go back. To, I'm going to mute again. Okay. All right, so here's my bird. Now, where's my tea bag? Thank you. I have an empty one with the tag. Let's just say in the beginning, it was you in the middle, and in the end is you. I could do like a Smaller tea bag. I'm gonna cut this down. It's gonna be way too okay, big. Where's Sherry's? Did you oh, get that's you, Sherry. Tea time. Oh, she had tea stamps. She's got the oh. best stamp collection. Oh. And I love her. I've yeah. never seen stamps like that. Those are cute. How cute. Yeah, she does have good stamps. It's her little tea tag says, Love the life you live, live the life you love. Uh, Buddha, Buddha teas. <laughs> I have a question. Has anybody heard from Teresa today with her operation? Right. No, nope, haven't heard anything. No, we haven't. I hope it went well. I hope it did too. I hope she don't have to stay there and, you know, it like gets to go home at least within a day, I would hope. Hospital's no fun. What was it? Her knee? No. No. Kidney Our kidney stones. That's it. Oh, the kidney stones. Oh, okay. oh, that's too bad. There. All right. Okay, I'm gonna mute again. Okie dokie. Maybe if anybody hears anything, they can post in the group. Yeah, let us know if someone hears about yeah. Teresa. Yeah. If, you know, if you get like, you know, you're more friends and privately. That's a good idea, people. Helen, because we're all, we're all concerned. Just let us know. She don't have to message everybody. Maybe just let us know. She might message someone. Have you seen, Colleen, have you seen that? Mask. Oh, I guess it's called masquerade. 
uh, dye that one of uh, Tim Holtz's makers used on a uh, guy on a, I guess, a tag she made. That is so cute. On Saturday, Eileen, they showed it? No, on her blog. Oh. Um, who was it? Yeah, as I say, I don't think I saw it. It was Zoe, I think is how you pronounce her name. So or Zoe? No, it wasn't Zoe, it was the other one, Zoe. Oh, okay. Do you have her do you have her her uh link? Let me get it. And it's it's a really a cute dye. And it's only nineteen dollars on Amazon. Tell me how I know. <laughs> nineteen dollars. Wow. Where is my Oh, here it is. Let's look it for my other cutter. Here it is. It's shoved in here behind. Ugh. Here's the one where she used the like this one. mask. Yeah, Tim Holtz makers are always off the hook, Peggy. They're so good. I girl Zoe. Okay. It's Zoe Hillman. He's the her husband's the one that made that um, program for all Tim Holt supplies. Oh, that you can download. Oh, that's cool. He's a programmer. Look at her crackle effect. Wow. I love the the uh, bird stamp, but I'm not paying thirty dollars for a stamp to use one. Right. It's thirty dollars for one stamp. Well, no, for one set of stamps. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so which one? Which stamp did you get, Eileen? Oh, the masquerade stamp that's over on the side. It's on him. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get the, well, I can't post oh. Amazon, but if you go in, here's the one that they don't have. This one, Simon says. Uh, what is it called, Eileen? I'll see if I can Wait a minute, it. I'm posting it. Okay. Let's see. All right. Right I bed. love the crackle and the other, um, that must be a stencil. That Yeah, that's one of his new stencils. There, Simon Says has the, the dye, but I ordered it on Amazon. Huh, it's out of stock. Oh. Yeah, oh, but I guess everyone else liked it. Oh, it's a dye. I misunderstood. I thought you said stamp. Hold on. Let me see if no, I can it's a find dye. it. Let me see if I can find it on Amazon. I thought she said stamp too. Oh, okay. Now the bird was a stamp I was talking about. Oh, where's where oh, we got okay. okay. All right. September. Today is September first, so Okay. Can you believe it's September? Hard to believe. To find it, Kathy? I'm looking. All right, let's see. All right. Yep. That was a fun one. Even though we had a freebie with the flashcard, this this was a fun one. I can't believe how quick Peggy gets hers done. She just oh, my goodness. <laughs> she does. My gosh, she's the speediest. All right, let me see. I found it. Hopefully the link's not over, what is it, 300 characters? Yeah, that's what happens to me. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it in. Hey, Jerry said it's 104 degrees right now where she is. Wow. Oh, where is she? That's terrible. 
Isn't she in like she's in Las Vegas? Las Vegas. All right, let me see if I can. Um, I can't. I, it's over two hundred characters. What What are you trying to do, Kathy? It's the um, the Tim Holtz uh, masquerade die that Eileen posted on Amazon. Or no, I I looked for it on Amazon, but I can't get a small. Oh, a small link. link. Yeah. Do you see the, I don't know, have it up on my screen, but do you see the letters R E F? Where? In the, in the, in the, in the link, the long link. Oh, you yeah. Colleen. Yeah, I cut a slit oh, in there and tucked the tea uh, bag oh, in the sorry. cup. Do you, okay, so I'm looking for the letters R E F. Right. Yeah, there'll be R E F and then, a, and then a set of letters of numbers. Let me put these stamps away. We'll work on the okay on the actual link on Amazon because yeah. I the one I copied and pasted into my thing. I don't see REF. What? Let me let me go to Amazon. It's I don't know which set it is you're pulling up, but um, it's right. It, like if. Tell me the name of the, the set of dies. Oh, okay. Tim, okay, Masquerade Thinlet Dies 664915, or 195, I'm sorry. Good, Sherry. Oh. All right, moving some stuff out of the way here. I got room because I always box myself in every time. I'm really good at it. All right, let me see. Oh, so Sherry said there's only one left in stock, so hurry up. <laughs> and I think they get 12 different sizes. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. It's two different styles and 12 Oh, cat styles. posted it. Oh, oh, okay. So you know what it affects? The, um, how big that link is, I think. The number of words you put in to search for it. Does that sound right? What I do is I go on the blog I highlight what's on Simon Says, the name of it, go over and put that in Amazon search, and then it, then it pulls it right up. Okay, and that's what I did. I pulled it right up, but my link was too long, so I only put in Masquerade Thin Lit Dyes 664195, and then the, I got a shorter link. The, the link has, has an REF, small small letters ref and a, and a set of numbers and you grab everything after that and delete it and then hit oh and that you. creates a short link thank you i see i see the i see the ref now but our sweet cat our sweet cat already got it for us hey helen how did how where'd you how'd you figure that out I just you're just that's the way a lot of people tell you to do it. I, yep, there you go. Oh, honey. I had never, I didn't know that. I had never yep. heard that. I didn't before. know how to do that. Yep, you to me. Well, Eileen, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> I I leave all the links if I can to Cat. Because she's our link person. <coughs> oh, really? Well, you know what? I leave the links up to all the mods. <laughs> and then they can race to see who's first. 
All right, so we're uh, going to work on a, a art journal page. Did you pick out an image yet? Pardon me? Did you pick out an image for from a magazine for, or whatever for your page? Um, I'm working on it. Okay. All right. I stayed up last night. I found my image. I had a couple different ones. And then. Oh, I like that stencil. Yeah, because you, you don't want to have me buy it. Oh, no wonder <laughs> I like it. You have it. I don't and have you, it. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I don't think I've ordered any of her stencils in a long time. Pretty sure you had me you order it. I thought you said you ordered it. Maybe. I mean, it's called. Well, if I ordered it, I never you got it. Stuff when you tell us to order stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be fishnet, ripped fishnet, uh, visible image, made in the UK. And the reason why I was thinking about going with that was because this girl has kind of fishnet hose on there. So that's what they can do with that. That's a cool stencil. It is cool. It would even be good in your Urban Walls journal. Oh, yeah. I was well, thinking. That's true. Me. There was a lot of fishnet girls in there. That were, yeah. Now I got to decide if I want to do the, the butterfly. I got to do a background, <laughs> too. <you>. But either. <laughs> Peggy said that's the way my fishnet stockings looked in the 70s. <laughs> what were you doing, Peggy? <laughs> what were you up to? <laughs> or these are more narrow. Let's see. She put. Oh my God. Um, I was even thinking, Colleen, at doing this in the Urban Sketch Journal, maybe. Oh, that'll work. I might do that. Yeah, I dug out my uh, one of my Dina Wakely. Like that's just not long. Are you trying to get? Oh, what about if you don't just um, put them wider, like do them separately, like one at a time, so they're just out further. You know what I mean? Not by because unless I cut her hair off, like I'm trying to decide if that even goes. The girl used butterflies but i don't necessarily quit but i'm used in her background and i'm going to use the that netting so it's going to be a little but this one's really big let's see um that might maybe. actually work though because she's big yeah maybe i could just do one i could just do, do one, one on each side you know do one, split it like flip it over and then do the other one on the other side you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. that one there and then do one on the mm. other side. Oh, or have her halfway off the page. Like just sticking at the edge of the page. Or the other wing going off the page. Oh. But like that. Yeah. Colleen, do two and a half. What no one going off the page, only half of it on there. Yeah, you could do that too if you didn't want it so much wing on there. Or like this. Just cover up part of it. Yeah. All right, we get my background going. Okay, then I get to the fun part. All right. So I saw this on this little girl talk. Do me a favor, Colleen. Heat set that and see if it turns in really sheer. Don't put anything on it. Heat this? Yeah, heat it with your heat gun. Oh, okay. I've never seen that. I've seen a lot of people do it and it, it turns so translucent. <laughs> Is this what you were talking about the other day, Eileen? Yes. Okay. I had no idea what she was talking about. At least Helen was following. Well, you <laughs> never follow. 
<laughs> we just don't pay attention to you. We asked Callan later, we're like, did Eileen say anything important? And then if she wrote it down, she let it go. <laughs> I just, I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> then for me, I'm just like, what is she talking about? Heat the other side also. That look more transparent. Doesn't no. it need some kind of gel on it? No, they just did it and it took the whatever it is on the tissue, it must have melted it down. And it isn't, it looks, doesn't look as white as that other one. Here, I'm oh, going to yeah, it is. It is a little, it's slightly creamier. Put okay, something you know on it. I'm going to mute again and try the hotter heat gun. Okay. okay. Put something under it, Colleen, to see if it shows through. Like what? Something okay. dark. Something dark. Oh, wait, I kept that black piece of paper here because Peggy's uh, memory saying she couldn't see anything. <laughs> I'm going to keep this in my drawer because I do that a lot. Now, how does it compare to the one that's undone? Okay, undone and done. Let's see. That's the same to me. Looks now same. I see it on black. Now it might get the wrinkles out. Oh, that's good. So, uh, you know, if you don't want it wrinkly, I think it help get the wrinkles out. Huh. So, just because I know I've used part of it and then kind of rolled it back up, so it gets, gets wrinkled. Was it this tissue paper, Eileen, that they used, or was it different? It was the Tim Holtz tissue. Okay. And this is Tim Holtz tissue, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. This is nice nice tissue paper. <laughs> well, now we, now we suffered for fashion. I wish you'd make it in the large size like you did in the very beginning. Are you ready, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, said that her fishnet has left an impression on her legs. <laughs> <laughs> so yours got stretched out and stay up. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it was like they looked they good were, for a while. Then, then it's like your knees started sagging with all this fishnet stuff on them. <laughs> Okay, the 70s, I didn't realize that fishnet hose were a thing in the 70s. Huh. You learn something new. It doesn't really matter how this is going to go on. It's just going to be like a accent at the bottom. Is that Augie, Eileen? No. No? Sounds like somebody snoring. Hmm. It's Eileen. She fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, right. Colleen's boring me. <laughs> I was trying to, to heat tissue <laughs> or see if it would do something. I might use this tissue paper and I can't even remember how long. So this used to come in a wider version, Eileen? Yeah, yeah I think it was 12 inches. Wow.
you know, Tim Holtz does a lot of card size stuff when he does his demos and stuff. Does he ever do like a page in a journal or anything? Mm -mm. I've never saw him do that. No, no, he does it. I think he just does card making or small, just. Most just, of everything he does is just samples. Say, oh, yeah. that's true. Sample cards, yeah. I think they don't, they don't focus it on mixed media. But I mean, we all know we can. But I guess if you were new, you might not realize that, you know, the things you're seeing on the cards are on like the, uh, what do you call it, the brown furniture pieces or whatever, you know, some of that might be incorporated. Now, they did show the canvas, a canvas journal. Some people worked in that. It wasn't there a, wasn't there a folder or something? Yeah, that um, right, they converted something. I can't remember. I also could probably use some washi tape on the on the bottom. All right. So also, it would be nice if I had some other kind of paper, like a you know, I mean, just a couple of like black. Um, Scrapbook paper, sorry, can't glue and talk and think all at the same time. Too complicated. So, because that'll look cool, because if we have her, because she's in that black and white, you know, she's going to be on there with, with that. I think I just want to, like, layer it with something else. Let me look real quick. <laughs> I guess it does that. Right back. Now that's not my cat. Nope. <laughs> it's my cat. One of mine. This has got some black paper in it. This is a uh, Amy Tangerine. Oh my God! Does she still put out a line of paper? Yeah, she does paper. I think planner, planner stuff and. And she did paint, so I think maybe she had some watercolors at one point. I don't know. I haven't seen anything from her in a long time. Uh, she Well, I think she she had a baby. So then that might have been it. And then I think, yeah, I think she, what was she pregnant during COVID? I think it was during COVID I was watching some of she was making some videos. Oh, thanks, Max. She does, Max said she does a, several collections a year with American Crafts. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, I guess she was more a scrapbook person. Is that just matte medium that you're using to paint that down, to glue that down, Colleen? I see I'm using uh, my Liquitex uh, matte gel. Matte gel, okay. Yeah, my, I'm almost out of the other and I'm tired of digging into that bottle. They had some of the Hobby Lobby brand matte gel on clearance when i mm. went in today have you ever tried it no not either so i don't know if it's any good or not I might do a well, little bit the time, the time to try it is when it's on clearance <laughs> yeah i was just wondering if you had tried it yeah i've never tried it i um, know I'm that like they have neat colors 
I'm like Dee Dee. I only use a matte medium from Golden. Yeah. They have neat colors. Hobby Lobby has neat colors with their paints, but they are uh, stickier, like thicker, like uh, shinier and stickier than like some of the other yeah. craft paints. But they for, have for journaling. Yeah. That's not good. Not good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I feel like they're a little uh, something about it. It's just different because I know when I used them in my reverse collage, those pages were like those pages ended up being like I don't know, um, just sticky overall, like stickier yeah. than my other pages. But then they had such neat colors. So it's we catch. think that Peggy, when she went to Hobby Lobby, she switched a lot of those sales tags on everything she bought because nobody, <laughs> nobody else saw anything like that when they went. <laughs> she did that and then she called her friend to go up there and snag her some deals. Yeah, Sherry said oh, hers wasn't on clearance when she went on Tuesday, and yours was didn't have yours had didn't have the same prices, right, Colleen? Yeah, they did have the same prices, and they yeah they were higher, and they were oh, yeah. only uh, just a few. I mean, hardly like hardly nothing really. I mean, it was just nothing I wanted to buy for even. Peggy found some distress, but distress, well, I don't know what she means by distress. The distress, I found the distress mini ink pads and the the distress offside sprays well, regularly $11.99. They were $2.99 for the two in a pack. Wow. And the distress uh, glazes. Oh, good, Peggy. None of that was on sale in mine. Um, the none of the none of the Tim stuff was. It's just a few, a couple of his dies, which were just yeah. There wouldn't buy them even at five fifty. So, oh, but the flamingo one was not marked down, Eileen. I would have marked it right down in the trash. For some reason the flamingo one wasn't marked down. I thought you would be. Uh, Equally shocked. All right. So I'm shocked they even had it. Hmm. All right, put this in the water. Then I'm gonna do is dry this, and then next you're supposed to do is put a little gesso down. This is a journal I've had forever, and I looked at some of the stuff. I mean, I could tell I've ripped things out of it. That I didn't like. Sherry, I, I'm so glad you said almost. I really need to do this. I'm being so, being so fussy, like, you know, I guess I'll just mess it up with the paint. I'm being more strategic in what I should be. Should be a little more spontaneous and messy, but I'm being all like neat freak here. I hate when I get in that mode. It'd be a little, it'd be a little more cooler if it was like a straight edge. I hate when I get neat freak. Stop the neat freak. You just tear like little pieces. I definitely don't think she had this. So, uh, today was busy, but it was a good day. So, I'm so good. glad you were able to get banded in, Colleen. Me too. He's now snoozing in there. Good. They're both snoozing. But he was like on the way home, like he was like sitting there, like dozing off, like on the way home from the beds, all this because he. Just a whole, you know the, how they are. The whole experience made them made them pooped or yeah, they get all nerved up and yeah, 
He was yeah. doing that. He was doing that head bobbing. He was doing that like he was definitely doing the head bobbing thing, you know. Uh -huh. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Hi, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, at least one side higher. Kathy, did you, did you try a hotter heat gun on that tissue? Yeah, it didn't do anything. That's weird. I, I don't know what these people did. I you even sprayed water on it. it, and it didn't make it clear. It made it nice and crackly, but it didn't make it. It didn't make it clear. Do you remember what yeah. channel you saw it on, Eileen? Uh, there was a couple. Hmm. Hey, KK. Hey's Johnny here. She said she was gonna come in. She's got she's selling at five. Yeah, Johnny oh, was here, but she's she's lurking, I think. And she's probably getting ready for the sales. Did you she said that she got a um she's getting a, a shipment from France. Oh wow. With some cool stuff in it. So well then you can't go. <laughs> Okay. What a tease. Did you say what it was? Um, she was it was a big tease because she said it's something that we'll love. So I don't know if it's <laughs> weird or I don't know what it is. Big tease. Yep. So Tim Holtz has a collage paper Halloween. It must be tissue paper, transparent decoupage paper. Do you have yeah. the, the Halloween version of that tissue paper? I don't. Have oh, any. the new one? I ordered it. It's really pretty. It's black and white, and it has red, a red flower on it. I don't know whether it's a rose or what it is. Little, little flowers on it, yeah. It's on sale it's at, at uh, Joanne's for $5.24. Yeah, that's why what I'm saying. If you go to Joanne's and order this stuff, now you have to watch and see if it says your store has it. If not, if you order it online, they ship it out right away. You get six yards of this stuff. Wow. Oh, that's a lot. Why Joanne's has it in stock? Ooh, get some, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Get it before it's gone. Hit the button. <laughs> do it. Do it. No pressure. Now, wait, Eileen, what's it called? What is the tissue? What is the paper called? Yeah. How long that we found it? Well, the what was it? Tim Holtz Ideology Collage Paper Halloween. No, oh, okay. I wonder if it's if it I wonder is that the one that goes clear? Maybe there's a, it maybe it's made out of something different. Oh, here I can. I'm going to put myself small on the side, Kelly. Okay, yeah, you're still not there. We hear you. <laughs> I'm lurking. Lucy says she needs a shopping trip to Seattle. Yeah. Is so, <laughs> that where all the stores are? How far are you from Seattle, Lucy? Devin stopped. I, where did Devin? Did Devin stop at Blix or a different art store? Because she said she almost got some of those. Uh, what are they? Acura paints that Kathy Arbor was using. Hmm. Mine. I got mine more there when I got done streaming on Tuesday. Mine had come. I haven't used them yet though. What do they look like? I mean, I didn't see any of that. They look like. Hold on. Let me. Where are they? 
I'll show you the box. Yeah, you show me the box. Oh, Lucy's in Canada. Okay. Okay, uh, it's a Kua starter set. And what is it? Acrylic paint or it's a it's a speedball paint for printing for printmaking, but it doesn't it stays wet when she uses it oh, on her jelly yeah, plate. Like it doesn't dry. Oh yeah, it, it gives her to, to do stuff. Yeah, it's so like it's it doesn't it just doesn't dry until it goes onto your paper. What size are the containers inside the box? Let's see. Small. Did you get some coffee? Uh, oh, no. A couple ounces, maybe. All right. It comes with... What is this? Intaglio? Oh, black carbon. Um, I don't... I don't know what this is. Some kind of gel. Oh, Intaglio Arcua liquid pigment to this base. Huh, some kind of base. Liquid pigment. Hey, Lisa said she has a starter set of those. Blending medium. How? What, what do you think, Lisa? Have you used it yet? Crimson red. So you get three paints, four paints. Kat put the link in. Thank you, Kat. Thanks, Kat. Interesting. Is it a matte finish or does it say? I don't know. It doesn't say. It's two acrylics and then some liquid pigment, blending medium. This stuff that says add pigment to it and then black. So three paints, pigment, and this, these two mediums, whatever they are. I wonder if that pigment is like liquid pencil. I don't know. It's a blue. This one, it comes in all different colors. Well, liquid pencil is only in black, I think. Yeah, that's liquid pencil is more like a graphite. This is a phthalo blue liquid pe pigment. Kathy Arbor used them on her show today. Yes. She's used them a couple times. Yes, yeah, she got um, she got a really cool gold. It gets really shimmery. I saw part of it. Our Lisa said it's a soy based ink. Yes. Yeah. So it's all natural and it's not going to kill you. So it's meant for fabric. Any kind of printing. I think. And she tried it. Nobody, um, she tried it on the gel plate to see how it printed. And it doesn't, and you know how we do gel printing, Colleen, and we, we were like, oh, we got to hurry before it dries or we want it to dry. This yeah. like stays wet while she goes and looks for stencils and comes back and it's still wet. Does it move around like uh, alcohol ink? No, it's not bubbly. It's like acrylic paint that doesn't that never dries on the plate. Oh, Sophia said the real the really awesome thing about them is that unlike usual unusual printing ink, they clean up with water, not solvents, and they are permanent when dry. Okay, so that's the big yeah. thing. And yeah. it's and it's natural, it doesn't have all those chemicals in it. Where's it made in? Or made from, I should say. Uh, let's see if I can find a soy based printmaking ink. I don't know. It's in French also. Oh, it must be from France then. Oh, so, made in US. Oh, made in the US. Made in U.S. Speedball Art Products, Statesville, North Carolina. Oh, Speedball makes it. Yeah. Sophia says that the two mediums that come in the kit, one is to thicken it and one is to thin it. 
and make it slower drying. Colleen, that's a really nice stencil. Thank you. This is fun. Hopefully it looks like it is what it is when I do this. Because I didn't get the paint wet enough. Oh, that looks nice. Let's see. Let's try that. Then we'll put some butterflies. That does look cool. Okay, so we um we put this stuff down. So we collage on the bottom. Then what do we do next? And we do a background, and then and yeah. pull it off with the. Then you put gesso if you want, like a little gesso over the whole page and a little bit over okay. the collage. But you might not want to for that one. You know what I might do? I think I'll use uh, clear gesso. Oh, there you go. Because that way I'll be able to rub the paint off. Yeah, and then you're going to put some paint down and then use a stencil and pull off the paint. Okay. Pat, I think she probably got it from Joggles. No, it was on... Um, the fish in that one? Yeah. Is that, uh, dark room, is that dark room door? Yeah, I think I bought this from a special, like a, I don't remember if it was Joggles. I could swore I bought it from someplace else now. Yeah, it's, what's that What's that stamp and stamp place, Eileen, that sells like the visible image and the darkroom door stuff? Joggles, I know. No, it, it's the other, the other link you always give with, that has good stamps. I have no idea. Oh, God. I get emails from them all the time. Frantic Stamper? Yes. See oh. if it's Dar see if or see if it's on Frantic Stamper. Thanks, Helen. Oh, that stencil's cool. Yeah. That paint should have probably been a little wetter. It would have been easier, but. We're just getting a workout. <laughs> okay, just for fun, I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff. What's this called again? Oh, sequin. Punchinella. Oh, yeah. Punchinella. Oh, Kat found a link for the fishnet. Yeah. Oh, good thanks. Price. $7.99. That's not a bad price. Oh, and it was Frantic Stamper. Cool. Wow, it's good you remembered that, Kathy. I couldn't remember the name, but I knew it was something like that. I'm surprised that um, Zandra doesn't have this. Zandra might have it. I mean, just because she didn't sell it doesn't mean she doesn't have yeah, it. Yeah, she doesn't have it. She may have it because then she does all the fishy, fishy stuff. All that. Yeah. Yes, Jane, it does look like plastering tape. The oh, the way it's it's coming off, like all kind of. No, no. Yeah. The the thing I think she means the thing that the um, what's that piece of stuff that Kathy just had? The um, oh, the sequin waste stuff. The punchinella. punchinella. Yeah, punchinella. Peggy, is it the same price as Frantic uh, Stamper? Speaking of Zandra, I have some paper scraps she sent me. And she said, hide it from Eileen. It's got pink on it. So don't look, Eileen. Oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Good old pissy pink. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, the fish. She's, she says the fishnet reminds her of plaster tape. Okay. So she did mean yours, Colleen. Okay. So I was right. About, I, I used to get it wrong. So I feel happy about that. Okay. <laughs> Peggy said the stencil is cheaper at uh, Frantic. Stamper, Frantic. yeah. Yeah. Let's see. The number is. There is a number, VIS-RIF-O3 on the side. Who's the fly? Darkroom doors? Yeah, he also says there's visibleimage.com. So, but, you know, I don't know if it's more expensive there or not. But Is it on Amazon? Uh, it is older. It might be. I mean, I've had this like a couple of years. Here, what's it called? Visible image. What's the name of it? Fishnet? Yeah. Okay, let me check. Visible image ripped fishnet. Ooh. I have plaster tape. I forget to use it. Oh, I have, yeah. I have a couple different kinds, too. What was the paint that you put down that was that you're lifting up through the stencil, Colleen? Um, this is Liquid Tex Blue Gray. Nice. I got it at Hobby Lobby. $5.99 if it wasn't on sale. The four ounce. Yeah, the blue gray is is cool. I also have like a blue, is it green? Green gray, blue gray. I think I bought. Yeah. I think I bought all the all the grays. Yeah, the versions of that. It was something that came out late, like when a year or two ago. I think yep. Kathy and I were like, like, oh, blue gray, green gray, or some other things. I was like, does it need color? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I guess I should put stamp. I like that you're using um, Dina Wakely's graffiti tissue on the graffiti book. I don't know why I didn't think of that because she actually, uh, when she designed that, said she was think she was thinking, you know, you know, trying to make it graffiti style. So, oh, cool! And you know what? I found. I don't know why I never? Yeah, that looks perfect on there. I found that in my um, Halloween stuff. I don't see it on Amazon, but they have lots of pretty fishnet stockings. <laughs> and they've got uh, stencils for your nails, too. Yep, there you go. What? Oh, really? it's a stamp. I said I put stamp. Hold on. No, I don't see it. I don't see it on Amazon. Oh, they don't. Amazon doesn't even have that that brand of uh, stencils. That I could see. All right. So next thing, you see how cool she's got to look here. Ooh, she got paint on her nose. Clean your face. All right. Oops. Oh, this is weird. Finnabar used to have a stencil called ripped fishnet really huh. still is it still available helen or no no it's currently unavailable okay so i'm gonna glue her down next Okay, 
I might do a reading as I got out over here. Right there. All right, so I need to get some clear gesso. Cat posted Johnny's sale notice. Oh, thanks, Cat. Does Johnny have a lot of uh, stuff left over from her last sale? That J9 stuff? Mm. I don't know. Does she live in France? No, she, who is it, Janine? Yeah, she's from Canada. Yeah. Um, yeah, she has stuff from Janine, and she showed, I don't know if she's sold it, if they're sold yet. She has uh, two um, two journals that she made that look beautiful. Yeah, Lucy bought one. I think she had four originally. Oh, Lucy. Okay, maybe so. Maybe she has two more. She did two yesterday, and maybe two today. I don't know. Okay, Peggy said Jenny is fifty percent left from J Nine, and she has a secret shipment. I know the secret shipment from France. Maybe yeah. it's a box of beignets. Lucy said she bought one of Jeannie's journals yesterday. Oh, Lucy, I bet I bet you can't wait to see it. Oh, she makes she makes journals and fussy cuts. Yeah. Oh, Janine's a fussy cutter. Ooh. Isn't Janine a fussy cutter? Am I wrong? No, I didn't yeah. realize that, that yeah. she was. Oh, fussy. okay. Like, I mean, I'm eating her cookies and someone else, which wouldn't surprise me if I was. All right, so now I'm going to get this dry. So, F, you get your image on there. Then you put, I'm going to put the, uh, she did some black paint around her. And then I'm going to rub off the butterfly wings. So the butterfly wings should then have this cool background. That's funny, Mac. Ooh. But beignets, beignets are a lot better than croissants. Hold on. There's black on there for us, right? Good thing there's not medium on her. Holy moly, got to clean her up. Not yet. I did lay my thing down in the black paint. Why does that not surprise me? I'm very messy with art. Sometimes that works to your advantage, though, Colleen. <laughs> Sometimes. Happy accidents. Okay, <laughs> if you're at gesso or matte medium or acrylic paints, if the lid ever gets stuck, just put your heat gun on it and it'll loosen it up. Oh, good. Tonight. That's what I just did because I have like more than a halfway full and I couldn't get it open. I just put the heat gun on it for a couple minutes and it worked. Huh. Good you don't use the press and seal on it? Obviously not. No, I like to live dangerously. Oh. I'm, I, I always think to, you know, I'm like whenever it gets stuck, I think, oh, I should be doing that. I should keep some press and seal down here. All right, so this just gets gesso all over the back and then a color, right, Colleen? Yeah, gesso. I see you white gesso. And then your image. I did some paint and then rub off with the stencil. Okay, and then the image after that. All right. I might as well put the white gesso all the way down. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
Oh, this actually goes down pretty clear. I'm surprised. Let me wipe this off. Who else has clear gesso besides Finna Bear? Oh, do they? Yeah. I wonder if Sonalier does. I usually there there that's another good um gesso and I don't know if they have met medio is the Sonalier stuff is really good. I should see if they have clear. Lucy says Liquitex does. Liquitex, okay. I think I have some of that too. Oh yeah, Lucy puts Vaseline on the bottle. That's also a good idea. Knock on wood, though, I have to say, since I found that out, I've always been able to open whatever's been stuck, so. Oh, that's good. So if you're lazy like me, <laughs> you can still get to it. It's going to be okay. <laughs> All right, what? Yeah, and Kat says Ranger does, too. Oh, Ranger has a clear one, too? Huh. So there's lots of them. All right, what background? Hey, did you use a matte color or glossy? What did you do, Colleen? Uh, the background was that blue gray, so it would, whatever liquid text is, you know, I mean, maybe it's in the middle. It's not really a matte, but. Oh, okay, the new one? Um, well, like new, new, like last year, new or oh, that yeah. one. Okay, let me find. Ooh, <laughs> should I use burnt sienna? No, I want raw sienna. Russ, I think I have that. <laughs> okay, okay Miss Smarty Pants, that's what you're getting. <laughs> Ah. Oops. Oops. Well, that was empty. That was okay. That was an empty Dr. Pepper can. Okay, and if it and if I run out, this is almost empty. If I run out of it, it's going to be yellow ochre. Oh, what's all that? Oh, you're adding that. I'm like, what's all that black stuff? You're adding that on there. I'm adding uh, Blix, the Blix mat. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, yuck. This is drying out. Let's see. Oh, I got a actually used up a paint this must have spilled i don't know what i would have used raw sienna on watch that tube doesn't break oh this yeah yeah it's empty all right yellow ochre okay. it is liquid she uses Vaseline for, oh, instead of the plastic. I started doing the Vaseline instead of the plastic, too. Because I kept having, uh, especially with, uh, especially with, like, my hands and uh, all this business from fracturing that thumb. Oh, so, like, yeah. I couldn't open anything. I went and cleaned all my jars. And I put like Vaseline on almost everything. So I was like, I can't deal. I need a smaller Yellow ochre is such a pretty color. <laughs> Actually, I do like yellow ochre. It's a good fall color. It is, and it goes well with, you know, certain other colors yeah i was just waiting for Eileen to say it looks like baby poop uh-huh 
Mm -hmm. Oh God, I don't want it to dry. Now let me go find a... Probably should have gotten my stencil first. Okay, found one. This one is a old uh, Prima. I'm bringing out all the oldies today. That's good, Colleen. You're using them. Yeah, exactly. Like, I let everything collect us. Colleen, are you, are you using a foam brush? No, I'm using a bristle brush. I'm just smushing the oh. crap out of it. That's probably why the bottom fell off a minute ago. Maybe. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll do this to kind of bring out the punchinella. So the whole thing, Colleen, or just bits and pieces of it? I did the whole, I think she did the whole thing, but she used okay. one big stencil where I ended up using a little one to move yeah. it around. But that's, that's just because, guess. that's because I found this girl with the stocking. So I changed my mind on the, I bought the background stencil she used. It's, it's pretty. Oh, what'd she use? It's, um, where's that black piece of paper? I'll hold it up and you won't be able to see it again. Um, okay. Oh, that one. <laughs> That's like a grassy, like a grassy oh, cool. one. She did this for the background and then put the butterflies. And I do like that. I think that would be cool in the jelly plate, too. Or any sort of just nice kind of give it a textury background. So that's a stencil girl stencil. Yeah. Um, did you see the new stencil girl stencils for this yes, month? Yes, I'm excited. So Me too. Boho. Uh, cool. Ooh. If you rub paint off this urban sketchbook, be careful because the paper comes up with it. Oops. Or it can. Oh, it makes sense. It's not. Um... Yeah, it has like that yeah. stuff over it. That makes sense. Do some more up here. It's neat though too because if you like your, you know, oops, that I don't want to expose. I want to kind of, I think I just cover up her hair there. Um, it, it's just kind of cool that you can still then see your background all through it. I mean, this is not a new technique by any means, but it's just a really fun. I was going to say it's fun. It's fun. This is not new. It just, this is, this is very fun. Very cool. You know who I, I think know. of who, who did a fun one of the, with this technique was Paula using the, um, the, uh, TCW crafters workshop, uh, stained glass window where she put the color underneath and then cover the whole page in black and then pull up the black through the stencil. Speaking of Paula, it's funny you mentioned her because in the front, this is an old, like I said, this is a journal I've had forever. You see, I've, this is, I was playing along with Beth on the, these pages when I was doing the bingo. Uh -huh. This I apparently ripped out, I didn't like. Bye, Peggy. Bye, Peggy. So, do you see I did the Hot Mess Gang? Do you remember the Hot Mess Gang page? Yes. Aww. Yeah, uh, Jamie was the co-conspirator. And she used, didn't Jamie do like a newsletter or something? She did. And then we did the Hot Mess Gang, and then uh, we did all the quotes from everybody, like, the, that's bad news. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Greetings from Mars. Um, this is from YouTube Ustream days. 
Oh, Carrie here, fishy fishy, crack a lack and Dee Dee Squirrel. That was also Carrie. Don't email me, Dee Dee. Stickles, Diane. That's a blast from the past. I know. I know it's not your last name. Was that for Julie? Oh, Julie Topaz. Uh, flopper. Oh, flopper tunity. That was Paula. Yeah. I don't know who said noise. Craft to was that on there? Uh, Judy Hootie, Corner Dweller. Oh, Pink okay. Zebra. That was my nickname. Can I have it? That was Joy. He got. Oh, Paula would zebra? say, "Huh? You were Pink Zebra?" Yeah, because I had pink. I had pink stripes in my hair in the front. Oh, that's funny. Camo Magoo. I think that's nicknamed for uh, Joycey. Joycey. And then, oh, was that for her? I thought that was for Jean. Like she said, oh, that's what Jean. That's what Joycey called Jean. Jean I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, art wipes, not baby wipes. The wing nut book. Twin Twinister. I don't know who that. What that referring to? The enabler elf. Twinster was, Twin Star was Jean and um, Jean and um, Jan. Uh, the one that spells her name J Jan J A E N. Oh, okay. Twinsters. Just saying. That's Dee Dee. Linda Art Unit. Linda Holloway. Uh, I don't know what beautiful leaf. I have no idea. It said beautiful leaf. Noodle, don't bug me. It's all Joyce. Yeah, Linda um, Holloway. Linda Holloway was at Dee Dee's yesterday. Oh, really? I've seen her on the street we in years. We, Sarah, that's what everyone called Sarah. She doesn't stream anymore, but she posts pictures of her horse. Um, Sister Woman, who else? Fur, Femra. Who did for ephemera filler fluff these are just all just really fun uh sayings that you know every they you know everyone always used so and then it just yeah it just all came about okay so after we do this then she oh then it was the easy part and she went through like uh with a white pen putting dots on the dress and the butterflies and then some black marks with the paint marker. And then I think that was it. Yeah. Now I think I went a little higher with my black. I think she left this one a little more undone. I went overboard. Shocking. No. Shocking. I know y'all are really surprised. Hi, Pam. King Pam is here. Hi, Pam. Hey, Pam. I never go overboard. I know. I'm surprised, Colleen. Yep. Never, ever go overboard. Safia says, for ephemeral was Paul, Paula with her dogs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I cannot remember. Yeah, she <laughs> must, she's right. Ballad, no bark. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to find a good uh, image. I miss Wee Sarah. She was great. So much fun to watch. Now, who was Wee Sarah? The girl from Scotland. Oh, yes. She had a, a, a guard, a art shed. Yes, that's right. Yeah. She had an art shed. She did some work for one of the companies. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember the company anymore. It's just been so long. I don't think she does. Well, she does art. She doesn't post it. And she obviously don't do YouTube anymore, but. She just posts pictures of her beautiful white horse and still and her dogs on Instagram. Yeah. 
It was her name. She you went went by We Sarah Hootie. No, Hootie was, Hootie was somebody else. Was uh the Judy um not the uh, what was the other Judy? But Judy was a Y. Was it not the other or is it Judy? Was it the, Judy uh, Hoover? Was that Hootie? I'm friends with her on Facebook and stuff still. Um, she was one of the uh, ones that were the part of the older group. I think it was just a typo. Someone put Hootie in, so then she's then she, you know, like forever was stuck with the it was Hootie instead of Judy. Yeah, Judy. Judy. Because it was just wasn't a typo. that Jean that started that? It was probably Jean that did the typo. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> yes, Judy Foster. Judy Foster. Thank you. That's it. Hi, yeah. hi, Pam. I didn't say hi before, but I didn't realize which Pam she was talking. You were talking about, so I looked up. Oh, I should go out and get a good, the new, isn't it the September issues that are all the fall fashion? I forget fashion? that Pia has been with us a long time. Does she remembers all that? Yeah. Yeah, she does. I forget that she's been around that long with us. Packard Dye used to do the butterfly wings and the... She Stop. still does too. She's, yeah. well, she's been posting a lot of good stuff lately too, like big stuff. Yeah, she's been doing some back to collaging again. Which yeah, is good. it's gorgeous. I need to get some new fashion magazines. Yeah, I was thinking that the other day when I was looking through. A lot of mine are pretty old. Mine are like from 2004, 2008. Yeah, I just don't. I think I when I was getting them for a while, I got them from the library. Like, there's tons of magazines at the library sale. But, like, they just don't. Ever since they kind of stopped doing that COVID, I don't know if they they still do it now. I wonder if they started up. Well, September, isn't it September that's the month where all the fashion magazines, that's a big issue. Like the fall. Oh yeah, the big, the line. big yeah, the big thick ones would be those are the great ones to get a hold of. Yeah, you can get one of those and use that for years. Okay, let's see. This I think is yeah, the anniversary ones. What about the there anybody wants to know? Johnny's on. Oh, okay. Yeah, Johnny's on selling. So you can, if you want to shop and art at the same time, you can multitask. You can just, yeah. Eileen to keep us updated on what the French stuff is. I'm almost done anyway. Okay. What so. about that, Colleen? What about, you think that might be a good one? And then oh, I like that one. And then do that flower stencil, do it all black, and then have the flowers coming up. I like it. Okay. I'll have to find that flower stencil. All right. I think that's a Julie Faye Fan Balzer. I'll have to go look. All right. That, did you put the flowers on there? Was it like that? No, that was the ad. It came out of what, what kind of ad was it? Um, Maison Francie Kirkjean. Oh, it was a it's a perfume ad. Ah, and, it's, and it's a flower umbrella, right? I don't know if it's a flower umbrella or if it's a big bunch of flowers. Have you seen lately, like on Instagram and stuff? people getting bouquets of flowers that are huge like this <laughs> oops that no, was, I haven't seen that. yes if it, i've seen it recently like there'll be a guy walking out of the the florist with like a huge bouquet of flowers like this it's like oh. 
three feet wide and two, you know, four feet tall. I mean, they're gorgeous. Wow. So I assume that's what this is, or it could be a flower umbrella. Probably a flower umbrella. If she, <laughs> I was thinking she like threw it over her shoulder. <laughs> Probably is a flower <laughs> umbrella. <No. laughs> I thought she took the bouquet and threw it over her shoulder. <laughs> oh, the Vogue fashion issue is out. Oh, good. Oh, you have to look for that because I like the big, I like the big thick ones that have. Loads and loads of, hey, I'm lightening mine up a little bit. I think I had too much black. And those dots are just not doing it for me. Oh, Kat put Johnny's link in. Thank you, Kat. Boy, he's been all sorts of busy today. Johnny was on, Kat, Kathy was on. I cast Kathy. Us and then back there. Well, you were not bored today. Lots and lots of fun people to watch. I like your uh, I like the way you're improvising. It's turning out good, Kathy. I think I need, okay. I think I need a quote. We can barely, can... barely hear you. Okay, I'll be just a minute. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to grab my Sticker Nation book. Let's just re see if there's anything I can put over here. Make sure this is dry. I'm pretty sure I put the paint on pretty light. I like the white blob above her head. Hold on. I'm gonna go back in. Okay, I've got a few. Maybe it's, is it Stencil Girl that has that stencil that just looks like a bunch of roses? Um, Because I don't, is that, does this look remember. like, do you think that'll look like roses? I think so. I think it's close enough. We can use our imaginations, right? You just do like little swirls. I think it will. I think that's pretty That's close what I was that. thinking of. And then I do, I do have this one. But that's almost too much like a rose. Yeah, that might be overbearing. Yeah. And then I had this. I like the circle. I like the circle. Yeah. I like the circles. Because it goes with, I think it goes, this is what I was picturing. All right. So then just like a black, like a thing of black that goes across, Colleen. Um, why your paint was wet, you were supposed to pull it off with the circle stencil. Around. I, didn't the, I didn't put the black on yet. Oh, okay. You're saying that was that was there. You could okay. do it and then glue her down. Yeah, you don't want the wings around like I did. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Original always. That might be kind of neat. I like that one. <laughs> you have that. You have that other quote book too. The Ear Essentials quote book. Colleen, did we lose Colleen? Yeah. Colleen. Oh, we did. Yeah, come back. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. All right, I'm just going to go for it, I guess. Mm 
Uh oh, she said she did too much. Oh well. All right. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be a mess. Okay. Oh man, is this going to be a mess? Yeah, you're going to need a lot of baby. Bye, wipes. Mac. See you later. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I should have gone a little bit lighter. <laughs> Just keep the baby wipes coming. <laughs> oh, God. oh, it will be grungy. Well, that's what you want. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Here, let's try this. Oh, and I got to be careful because this paper will pull up too, so it can't be too wet. So I can't rub it too much, but I got to rub it enough to get it off. Let's see. Ah! Oh, no, you, you, have it, you have a DD stencil now. Shoot. What did hers pull up the paper? No, hers looked like she used it three thousand times. Um, got it. the shave. All right. Well, we're just gonna keep going. Let me get my let me get the whole pack to be. All right. Let's do. Whose design are you following, Kathy? Colleen's. <laughs> well, where did she get it from? She kept saying she then she did oh, this. She got it. It's on Stencil Girl blog. It's from. It is from. When is it from? Oh, that's okay. Her name is, is, is Tina H O I S Art. Oh, okay. You're right, Sherry. Yeah, go back a few weeks on the blog and you'll see it. It's right before the um, the paper dolls. No, uh, Sherry like said that Dee Dee glued her stencils in the journal page when they got too crunchy. I was just thinking that would be a lot easier to do than this. <laughs> <laughs> this is messy. Oh, with the black goodness. this is very messy but i mean it's really dramatic though it is it'll be cool but did you see what mine's doing on this paper it's pulling up the the paper along with the paint oh i'll have to well, why don't you in. just let's see oh my god can you can you uh can you use a paper towel instead of a baby wipe to pull it off because I was also using a paper towel. That way it's a dry you use a dry towel to pull it off. And we'll no, because in. the paint's starting to dry. Okay. So I thought of that, but it's starting to dry. I've just gotta Oh, I should have used that black Acura paint. Oh, so just that doesn't dry. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, I don't know if I can save this. You can, you can just put a layer over it. Knock, <laughs> knock it back. Maybe this, maybe this will be the first one that I, I paint over. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't say mine's perfect either. So, I mean, there's, 
black paint on her. I wish I hadn't gotten on there, but. Oh my goodness. That is a mess. Can you wipe any of that off? I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm afraid to rub too hard, but then if I don't rub hard enough. It's coming off. There, it's coming off. I, you know what it is? I need to keep switching the baby wipe. Yeah. Well, I'm really happy I wore a white shirt today and no other. <laughs> oh, I forgot to warn you. You be using black <laughs> today. Yes, Kat says if it worse comes to worse, you can just glue the pages together. <laughs> yeah, I might, and I'm always the one that's like, no, never do that. Nope, you can always never do it. work, you would suck. Yeah, she is. I ripped mine out. I hate it too bad. I'm like, bye. See, I've never done that with the page. Ugh. Okay, I do have one idea that might save it. Ugh. See, people are learning how to, watching or how to save your art. That's because exactly. that's a skill because trying to save your art is harder than making it right the first time. So it's really you're easy. exactly right. And you get something unexpected when you do that. So, okay. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'll glue her down over here. And then what if I went around with a white Posca okay. and made it look like flowers? Ugh, yuck. I need to fix this, too. Yeah. Shoot. Do I fix it with it black, or do I fix it with... <laughs> oh, here. What a mess. Oh, Sophia left because it's 10 p.m. I'm sorry, I didn't see her leave. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's nighttime. I always forget that. I'll fix it. I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry really good. Hey, made it. Is it super wet? <coughs> um, no, I guess it's not because it was drying up. I couldn't pull it back. And you can always add something. You know, cover it with something pink or. Yeah, or I'm gonna take try. some of that tissue paper you have and stick it on top of it. Some of the more that, that you covered up. No, I want. I know what I'm gonna do. I can. I have. A, I have a vision. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let you work your vision then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she'll be glued here. And then do we put a, um, oh, here, let's put us both. I'm tired of looking at that big black blob on mine. Thanks. Outwork your rivals. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, that's, I think that's salvageable. Mm -hmm. I do too. Okay. All right, let me think. Let me see if those are good. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find a good word for this. This was fun, Colleen. That was a fun. It's just like a, it's old. It's not anything new, but I mean, I can't remember the last time I did this. So. Yeah, it's like a good old-fashioned art journal page. It is a good old-fashioned well, well, art journal page. I know she used magazine images or not, but she definitely did the paint and the book. But I don't know. I never, I never watched the thing. Let's so it's see. it's Tina Hoy H O I S space A R T. She's got a YouTube channel and. Is that where you saw the video, Colleen? I saw it on the Sensel Girl blog, and then she put in a link to her channel. Okay. On the blog. I had copy paste it. It wasn't an actual link. But now you see okay. what you get. How about this? Potential. And the cool thing about it, there you go, is depending on you know, the image and the colors you use and stuff like that, it could be. You know, all the all of them will look different, but we're using the same technique. I like it. <laughs> How about do your best. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Pressing yeah. Do your best. That would cover up a bunch of it. <laughs> <laughs> that would cover up most of it. <laughs> but if it's bugging you, you'll figure out, you'll work on it and get it, you'll get it the way you want it. It's actually, once I put, once I put the girl up, it's not bugging me so much. And I think this okay. will help. And I think, here's what my plan is. I might, I'll see if it's still bugging me. I may go over and like outline it with white, like white okay. scribbly flowers, just to make them look more like flowers. But you could do that or pink, uh, your pink Posca. That's pink pink. Yeah, your pink I think you need to add some pink on there. Is the flower that the main focal. Or I could go back over with the, there's, I know there's a stencil girl one that's smaller with flowers. Maybe I'll add that on top with pink. You can do that on top of that. Although I'm not hating it anymore. Well, then leave it if you're happy with it. I need to, I'm just looking for a good. Have you glued the girl down yet? No. No, but I think she definitely has to go over here because that's just a big blob. You can always pick a different girl. She's not glued down. No, I like my girl. Oh, okay. I'm just making suggestions in terms of like if you were wanting something larger to cover stuff. Oh, that's true. That little piece of pink bird paper that's underneath the girl. Do you? Oh, the little flowers. Oh, the I little should... flowers? Okay. Yeah. Maybe put some of that over on the other page. Yeah, because that was, that's covering most to see. That's, yes, like over this part, just to get more of that pink flower pink stuff yeah. over there. Yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, hope. We could put hope on there. <laughs> Let's see. Let me think of, we think of roses. I cracked myself up. That's in here. Uh, let's see. I think put 
potential might be the right one. It was a summer story. That's cute. What? Looking up quotes about roses. Oh. Reality. It's reality, the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh, it says never stuck. I thought it said never suck. <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> Hey, you can cut the T out and piece it together. <laughs> never suck. I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> that <would be> <laughs> <laughs> and that's certainly not what you got here. <laughs> I can hear the song. I, you know what? I might, I might put. I'm gonna put potential. I think up here, and I might write that in down here somewhere. Yeah, I think that's just kind of funny. That is kind of funny. <laughs> oh, here's paradise. And vision. Well, it does have blah 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 on the bottom. So yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I never promised you a rose garden. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna finish looking through here to see if there's another. Part. <laughs> oh, here we go. Purge junk. Rejuvenate. Some of those little circles, the yellow circles actually look kind of like faces to me oh really hmm. yeah the little marks on a couple look like faces they do when you look in your camera you'll probably see it if you look in your camera or look at the screen like instead oh your... yeah huh let's see i see a sideways face i see one looking upwards Up, under the upwards bird. yeah one that looks like a, a right underneath, or like a bird or something. There's some creepy ones when you start looking at his faces. Ooh, then how about how about search your soul? Yeah, because they do kind of look, you know. Yeah, there are faces in there. Their faces. So what do you what do you think of search your soul? Yeah, yeah. That work. That make it cover kind of up creepy. the faces in there. And then I'll put, I never promised you a rose garden. I'll just write that in at the bottom. At the bottom, yeah. I'll write that in in pink. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. I never noticed that. I'm slipping out. I'm usually the one seeing faces. You're usually the one seeing the little chickens and the. <laughs> yeah, everything's a chicken to me. <laughs> Life is it's a chicken, it's a bird of some sort. <laughs> I always see birds. There, then I don't have to worry about fixing the flowers because I want to keep the faces or whatever they are. it up top across the middle yeah yeah like that yeah so Arlene, do you see anything interesting at the sale i don't know i'm not over there oh okay. but you are ahead you're eating. so quiet and then what i'll do here is i'll try to scratch in some circles Let's see. Well, I can go across the middle of ties of pages together. Yeah. And I am going to get more, some more of that paper and put it here. Mm. 
Maybe I could get Denise to come and punch a hole through it. <laughs> you know, I went back and watched that. It wasn't Denise's finger. It was Dee Dee that poked the hole in it. See, oh, I, I thought so. Yes, it was Dee Dee. Really? I thought it was Denise all that time. See, I thought, oh, I thought it was it Dee Dee. Was a red, you said you saw a red fingernail, and that's why I went back. I said, red, Denise said on white nail polish. Oh, it was? Okay. It was Dee Dee <laughs> put her finger through it. Yep. I wonder if she was laughing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because she couldn't get mad at Denise because it was her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's going to go here. Let me get this. Oh my gosh, I, I, now I hope I can find, oh, here it is. That's pretty paper with the Asian. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, 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 this was stuck in with my papers. It's like, it was like a thank you from Zandra with all these little scraps in it. Oh, cool, that's nice. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's perfect. It works good. Oh, but then I'm going to have to. I have to rub a little bit of black over it. That was a good idea to bounce, put that there to bounce that. That looks, good. that looks good right there. Yeah, it does. Okay. You tore that, right. that in, you tore on the right. It's perfect for that. Okay. I'm just going to do this with my my clean. Oh, maybe this will get some black on it and blend it in. <laughs> yep. Look at perfect. <laughs> Finger painting. <laughs> yeah. It works. Yep. That's perfect. I like that. Oh, That's here. Better. Oh, yeah, your dirty baby wipes. Get it all crunched up here. Here, let me do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so messy. <laughs> Guess we haven't gotten messy in a while. No, we haven't. I haven't. Well, at least on camera. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? I like it. Now like you it. added the, the white paper. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. And the searcher soul ties it together. Yeah, let me get this. Let me cut this and then put that down. And then their little faces. So now I see faces and not a mess. Good. Yes. <laughs> that yeah. That helps. So right across the middle. Yeah. Okay. Let me fold this in half. All right. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm such a dork here. It's sticking to my <laughs> You glued it in your painting. <laughs> that's what that's what art is all about. Putting myself into it. Yeah. There. That looks good. Okay. One more thing. I have to use the black ink pad around the outside. It isn't horrible. Now the other thing she did was the white dots, like with the paint marker. You don't have oh, to, yeah. but she did like little white dots. You could put those around those circles. Oh, I should glue her down, don't you think? Oh, yeah, should I do white dots on her dress? Yeah, on her dress, around that, and then you But then I can put them up over on this side. Yeah. And then maybe a few here. Yeah. Glue her down, unless you want to just flapping around. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Hi, Cass. Hey, Kathy. Okay. Hey, Kathy. All right, let me get this glued down. Okay. All right. 
I'm working out my old, uh, an older Diane Reebley journal, and then this was in it, The Hot Mess Gang, where we talked about the quotes earlier. Yeah. That was so uh, fun. Oh, here, look, the sponsors. Oh, the oh. sponsors. Oh. oh. Oh, this one, What the Flock. That was also Paula. Who said Beautiful Leaf? And who said Bar... Oh, Bar Bark. Was that a nickname for Barbara? For Bar, Bar Bark? I don't remember that one. Good thing I wrote it down here. Ugh. All right, let me get the... I forgot about her saying this is bad news. Yeah, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> I know I always hear I think of her when I hear that. <laughs> you can make the those roses she is holding an umbrella look like a storm is a brewing. Hmm. How would she do that? It, this is the storm. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> Let me. Um... All right. And then I am going to put, I never promised you a rose garden down here. <laughs> I love that. Who's saying that? Oh, oh, was it like Tom Jones? No, no, it was um, Black Line. Lynn Anderson. Okay, I can because that song. Line, ever since Kelly said descent. it, I've been hearing the song in my head. Mm -hmm. Black Line dividing from the center. Mm -hmm. So is it gray? A black line dividing from the center. I don't get it. Do you get that? Oh, we, think, like we, that? Think, we think it is. We think it is an umbrella. Are you saying that the umbrella needs a needs a line on it? Or like an umbrella handle cross? Oh, it's kind of like an orange. Like an orange. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't. I now see that would be good if you thought it was an umbrella. I keep thinking it's a big, a big bunch of flowers thrown over her shoulder. I think it is. So I know I for some reason, but then when Helen said, "Oh, it might be an umbrella," that would make more sense. But I'm picturing it as just a bunch of flowers over thrown oh, over. Oh, flowers. she's saying you would draw a circle and it aligns through the roses, so it looks like an umbrella. Right. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, that's she meant the middle of the page. No, she's just hauling a big thing of flowers on her shoulder. All right. And then in pink, now I get it. Sorry about that. I was totally like, <laughs> why would she draw a line down the middle when it's a few pages? <laughs> I was like, oh, duh. Okay. Ooh. That's a pretty pink. It's a pretty pink. Let's see. There. It just kind of blends in with all the letters down there. And then you said dots. 
got dots, like she did dots around her butterflies and on her outfit. Like they used to do. It's kind of a trend, an old trend. There, that's just got polka dot outfit. Polka dot butt. Polka dot butt. Ooh. Luckily, I had to do this in a project earlier today, so I know not to touch it. Run my hand over it. I was doing this and I smeared now, it. Rotate your page and do some dots in the circles. Yes, here. We'll start over here. No, you don't lay your hand in it. Elder. Okay. There. That way it's. Yeah, this kind of brightens it up a bit. Yeah. Well, I had mine too dark too. I had to go back in and add more white. Oh, but then here, there, here goes back to the storm thing. This could be rain. Oh, rain. That's true. Okay, I'm only going to do the dots where it's really black. <coughs> Ooh, is that you, Colleen? Yeah. <coughs> That'll eventually go away. <coughs> oh, ready? Excuse me. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, see, uh. about ready to put smiley faces in these circles. <laughs> ah, shoot. I was touching her dress. Should I put circles on top here? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Hold on, I'm gonna mute. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me that, Sherry. <laughs> I was doing good today. It's probably the worst coffee fit I've had. <laughs> hey, Kathy, do you see what Cass put in chat? Kathy's muted. I don't know if she heard she's you or not. Hear I see if she's muted. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I can still see the faces, so. Yes, I can too. It almost kind of looks like stars or something. <clears throat> She's stuck to it. This is starting out pretty good. She it has. She didn't give up. It's a good example of, you know, when something goes really wrong, like your stencil sticking to the page, you just keep pushing, pushing. Yeah, no, no. I know because halfway through the dots on the left hand side, I was like, oh crap. Yeah, I Cass said if you swipe it in one direction, it'll look like it's pouring. Like, take your dots, like maybe from the right side, and just draw lines towards her. 
like it's raining <clears throat> on the right. Red of black is heavy. There. Up there right ahead. No, I can't. I can't because yeah, I, I, I still don't see an umbrella. Uh. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, leave it and let it dry completely and then look at it. And then I can play with it. Yep. Oh, then I could make a copy of it and do it on there. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll make a copy and play. Oh, wow. So who's going to come clean my mess? <laughs> Colleen, you're the one who found this. <laughs> Aren't you glad? <laughs> yeah, me fun. too, Sherry. It was a few weeks before the clock <laughs> went away. I was doing pretty good today. And so all of a sudden, it just hit me. <clears throat> well, that's different. I like it. Thanks for playing along. I think my pages turned out good. I love yours, Colleen. I love that the stencil you had. And the fact that you stuck it out and you finished it. You didn't give up. And a oh. little bit of, yeah, and that piece of paper at the bottom, the quote. I mean, it's yeah, all thanks easy. for all the ideas and stuff. And it, just like talking it out, like when you guys were oh, like, nice. oh, there's spaces there. And then yeah, it, it, it was so ruined like you thought. It just yeah, it so it tweaked. It went from being a big blob to not so bad. Vegas Ghost Show, don't give up on your page. This was fun. This was fun. You Thanks were. everyone for being here today and my um, different time than usual, but uh, uh, the bandit seems feeling a lot better. So I was glad I got into the doctor. I didn't want to uh, stream over top of uh, Chaos Arbor. So anyway, I will see you. We will see you guys Tuesday afternoon on Kathy's channel. Thank yep. you to the mods and to Kat. Yes, thanks to all the mods, Dar. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Good afternoon. Bye, guys.